Hey, Mark uh, says, I know that Arizona, New Mexico, Washington, and several other states have registered tartans. Is there any chance that those can be added to your list of available tartans? Now, I'm trying not to make this company centric. So what is the process uh, like if you want to get a state tartan? Sure. Let's answer it that um, way. Well, let's start off with not every state has tartan. True. Has a tartan. Um, some of them do. Some of them are official. Some of them aren't. Um, like they've been, you know, Hanukkah, Danica blessed. Like I know Pennsylvania has a tartan and it was mm -hmm. officially adopted and, you know, blessed by the Pennsylvania state legislature. Um, it's the second best one. Yeah. There are, there are state, there are some state tartans that are officially adopted and or are copyrighted. So Maine or Rhode Island, or, you know, there are certain uh, state tartans that like are controlled by an entity or by mm -hmm. an individual and you can't really do anything with it. Um, really, the, the reason you know, the tartans that we have on our website are all of the stock supported tartans from all the mills in the UK. So to get, to get it on our website, convince House of Edgar or La Karen to carry it. Stock we'll support. Carry it. Yeah. Stock supported, meaning I can call them up and be like, yo, I need four yards of California tartan. Send it to me. Cool. Thanks. Bye. Um, if, if it is stock supported, anyone can buy it at any time because the mill is taking the risk of holding the stock of that thing. If we, if, if you got a, uh, if we decided, okay, well, we are going to take the risk of carrying California or Texas or whatever tartan and, you know, then we would have to buy a bolt of the cloth and, you know, sit on that as well as each individual, you know, state that has a tartan, um, then that's a risk on us. If you as an individual want to do it and get a group together or want to have it custom woven specifically for you, you know, from one kilt up to, you know, a whole group of you doing it, you can do that as well. So it's really who wants to, you know, roll the dice that you're going to, you know, recoup your money out of it in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. So that's really what it boils down to is in the tartan register, there are almost 10,000 tartans, like, you know, 8,000, 9,000 tartans at this point um, that exist and that are registered tartans. Not all of them are woven because, you know, if you have the 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 BJ tartan for some random dude's dead dog, which actually is a tartan that it exists, is, it exists. Yep. you're you know, no one's going to buy it except for that one guy. So none of the mills are going to weave it because they're not going to be able to sell it. So it's about, you know, reaching critical mass and being able to have enough people want a particular design or perceived, you know, enough people want a particular design that a mill or that a company or that a group of individuals can have it woven. Yeah. And some tartans are controlled in a different way. Like, for instance, Texas Blue Bonnet, I think, is controlled by the one it's copyrighted. It's copyrighted. And then Scotland Forever in Texas, right. scotlandforever.net, I think is their website. Yeah. Um, Roxy, wonderful lady. If you reach out to them, tell them that Rocky Rager from USA Kilt sent you. Anyway, yeah, that one is copyrighted and they have the rights to actually weave that one and sell that one yeah. from the design holder. But uh, otherwise, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, um, most state tartans at some point started out as a passion project of somebody's. So it depends on how much mileage they got, how much traction they got with their people in their state. You know, if, if the legislature and everybody were like, this is freaking awesome, we got to do this, then, you know, you might have more people who are interested and in all that kind of stuff. And then you have other places like, you know, why do we need a tartan? What What's a tartan? You know, it's going to be more rare just by virtue of that. So, Or if, if there's not a... A high percentile of you know Scottish people right. with Scottish heritage in the state. Right. Um, maybe they don't you know care about it as much. Yeah. Uh, or it's there's a lot of reasons why a state may or may not have it. There's some reasons why it may or may not be official. Um, there's some reasons why it could be copyrighted or not copyrighted. So it's yeah, it's a it's a sticky wicket, and each individual state has to make up their mind for themselves. Yep. So. If Let's you do that can, together. I can use that thumbnail. Yeah. Okay. Um, but if you get a group of people together and a tartan does exist and it's not copyrighted, as long as it's open to be woven, sure. You know, any any company, us included, can happily get it done for you. Um, see if there's a pipe band who'd be interested. If you're trying to get a lot of people involved, hunt around and see if there are bands in the area that, that might be interested because that very often 
they're the ones who are most likely to be interested in something like that because local pride is is a big deal for them. So yeah, yeah, agreed. How are you, Gil? When you were a kid, did you have one of those maps with the punch outs and you got the quarters or the nickels for mm-hmm. each state of the mm-hmm. union? I want to do that for state tartans. I want to have a map and have every single state tartan in the map. You know, so I, I just say collect it. them all. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Right? Except for Nebraska. Freaking Nebraska. You, you know what you did. No.